Hey, what is going on guys? Hex coming back in today. Finally, after my break that you guys told me to take, I did. I listened to you, I listened to my subscribers. But we're back with another anime review of ReZero. And in this episode, we learn a lot about Subaru once again, just when it comes to these children. And he realizes all their goals. And I'm pretty sure this is his first time going down to the village. But I'm pretty sure he remembered all these goals simply because he's been down to the village multiple times after he's died and restarted his little time loop thing. But in this episode, we have we have Reem, blue-haired girl, I get confused too, and we have Subaru teaming up, and they had to go to the village, because we find out that it's actually the dog. So Subaru basically intentionally has himself getting touched by each villager, and he remembers where they touched him, you know, each one specifically touched him, and I really thought that was a very, very, very well done in the way they did that. But other than that, Subaru also makes a promise that after this is all over, he will answer any of Reem's questions, and Reem straight up tells him that she has a lot of questions that she needs answered, and so be ready. And Subaru so even admits at the same time that he has questions that have been answered, you know, and that, and that goes in with him saying, I have questions that I haven't had answered, no matter how many times I, you know, redo it. No, I'm, no, many, ha, no matter how many times I restart, consider that out there. But we also learned that the dog, technically, that left with Chris and Subaru, is called a Mad Beast. M A B B E A S T. A Mad Beast. So, I don't know if I pronounced that right, but that's a really interesting name, I guess. That's a weird ass name. But basically, this dog is the creation of. from the witch, from the evil witch. Well, the jealous witch, excuse me. So, that's really interesting. Uh, I mean, other than that, to end this episode, it's just. It's, it's just crazy. I mean, the end of this episode is crazy. We see Reem, like, you know, we have Subaru saying, Hey, I see the lights, Reem. And he turns around and, I mean, Reem, Reem's tathered. Tathered. And then we have the original dog finally come out that's controlling all these other, you know, mad beasts. And, well, technically, I don't know if those other dogs were mad beasts. I think the mad beast is technically just that puppy dog, per se. But I'm not, I'm not sure because it, it seems as if they take many forms because obviously it should have been spotted in the village. They would have known what a mad beast is. And I'm really interested interested as to what what made the boundary break. I mean, was it simply that these barriers just don't, they just don't last as long as they, sh that you know, they just don't last as long. Some of that, I don't want to say as they should because I don't know how long they're supposed to last, but they just don't last that long. Like, is that the case? Or just someone inside mess with the boundary? I'm really wondering if maybe they're being controlled. Maybe they have a curse on them to where they're being controlled. That's something I really am interested in. At the same time, I'm really interested as to where Roswell went. He said he had something he had to attend to, and he had to dress up, which wasn't like him, I guess. And he had something to attend that was really concerning to him. But besides that, we're getting a little bit off track. Reem's tathering whenever Subaru turns around. And, I mean, it looks like Reem just died and she took that hit. So it looks as if whenever Reem's life is, like, like really, really, really in danger, she goes, like, demon mode. Because she absolutely destroyed all of those dogs. But Subaru, once again, risks his life, pushed Reem out of the way, you know, and took a shot for her, you know. And is Subaru going to live? She's, she's screaming. She's saying, Subaru, don't die on me. I'm just really wondering, is, is he going to live? I have a feeling yes, because if they were to restart now, that would be... I, know, I feel like they'd have to speed up the pace of this anime really fast just to get to this arc, because... Or else, I think we'd be left with a cliffhanger at the end. Which, I, I I wouldn't be surprised if we do get left with a cliffhanger at the end of this. I think this anime is going to have two seasons. I'm pretty sure that the manga is still continuing. So, that's another thing I'm really inter interested as to know what's going on with that. So, as always, guys, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. At Hex25. And I'm sorry this video was kind of maybe not as good as my other videos. Because I did take a break. So, I'm getting back into the swing of things. Well, it was on a three-day break. But still, yeah. As always, guys, straight, leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at Hex25. How fast can I say this outro? Peace. Sup. But one thing I'm really wondering is, is Tubar really going to, like, keep hinting about the witch? I mean, he can't tell tell about it, obviously. But we have a scene where he's, you know, he's like, I know you can find me, Reem. I know you're the only one who can pick up scents. No one can do it like you. And I know you can smell the witch on me. That, you know, he's just saying that, that horrible scent the witch, you know, and I, I, I like that, I like that, because you have his real person eyes slipping out, because let's be honest, Subaru's really, 
he has his moments. Like that that moment right there, he's being true to himself, he's being true to Reem, and his true feelings were coming about how they cared, you know, how much he cared about them, his true feelings were coming out but coming out about that. Now, I just like when he just that frustration. I, I would I would definitely point that towards frustration. Frustration is just it seeps out of him every now and again, and I really do expect Subaru to, you know, kind of crash and burn a few more times. 